Vitamin D is an important vitamin for reproduction. Previous studies have linked vitamin D with infertility, PCOS, fibroids, and sperm function. Vitamin D deficiency has been associated with lowered IVF success rates. But what about miscarriage? I'm fertility expert, Dr. Randy Morris, MD. I have the answers that you need. Stay tuned. This episode of Infertility TV is about vitamin D and miscarriage. Before we start, it's important to understand that most miscarriages are not caused by something you did or didn't do. Most miscarriages are due to abnormalities in the embryos. The vast majority of miscarriages occur because once the egg was fertilized, it did not have the correct number of chromosomes. Most of the rest are likely due to genetic mutations in the embryo. These are problems that you cannot prevent. That being said, there may be certain lifestyle things that can increase the risk for miscarriage. For example, we have pretty good evidence that caffeine use before pregnancy increases the risk for early pregnancy loss. I talk about that in this episode. On the other hand, we have pretty good evidence that alcohol use before conception does not increase the risk for miscarriage. I discussed that in this episode. Over the years, I have talked a lot about vitamin D on this channel. See my vitamin D playlist for all of those episodes. Why so much focus on vitamin D? Well, where I live here in the northern United States, vitamin D deficiency is common. How common? 90% of the vitamin D in our bodies is made in the skin when it is exposed to sunlight. Most of us simply do not get enough sun exposure to keep our vitamin D levels in the range we need. As a fertility doctor, I also worry because I know that vitamin D receptors are found in various reproductive organs, including the ovaries, the uterus, the uterine lining, and even the placenta, which suggests that vitamin D plays a pivotal role in normal reproductive function. So, okay, what does the science say about vitamin D and miscarriage? Some of the strongest data comes from a long-running study called the EAGER trial. The main objective of the EAGER trial was to determine if daily low-dose aspirin could improve life birth rates among women with a history of pregnancy loss. By the way, it does help. During this study, participants had blood drawn at several time points before and after conception. Since then, researchers have been able to use the blood that was drawn to do additional tests. This is referred to as a secondary analysis. In this study, they measured vitamin D levels before conception and at eight weeks gestation. They were able to analyze the data from about 1,200 women. Roughly half of the women Women had low levels of vitamin D before conception. What did they find? Women who had adequate vitamin D levels before conception were about 15% more likely to have a live birth compared to women with low levels. On the other hand, vitamin D levels during pregnancy at eight weeks gestation were not associated with miscarriage. We don't know exactly why there was this difference. It is possible that vitamin D deficiency is associated with very early pregnancy losses before eight weeks. Women are strongly advised to start prenatal vitamins before conception. Is the vitamin D in prenatals enough? Maybe not. Studies show that prenatal vitamins containing 400 international units per day are not likely to be effective for many people. At my center, we measure vitamin D levels in all patients who are attempting pregnancy, and we use prescription strength vitamin D to restore adequate levels quickly. Our infertility TV bottom line is this. Vitamin D is important in the reproduction process. Women with lower vitamin D levels before pregnancy may be at higher risk for miscarriage and supplementing vitamin D starting before pregnancy may reduce the risk for miscarriage and improve the odds for a live birth. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.